Okay, here we are, round seven of the 2021 Kenda AMA National Enduro Series. This time it takes place here in Matthews, Indiana at the famous covered bridge behind me. We've got an excellent trail laid out. We've got rain in the forecast for Saturday night. I don't expect a mutter, but this place with the hard pack conditions will get real slick. We'll see who's got what it takes in the slick conditions. We got a women's elite class that's got a real tight battle. One of the closest battles we've seen in the women's elite class. We've got Rachel Gudich and Shelby Turner and Mackenzie Tricker all looking for a win coming towards the end of the season. Pro 2 class has Jesse Ainsley so far undefeated in 2021. He could wrap up the championship here in Indiana with a seventh place finish or better. We'll see if he can be crowned the 2021 Pro 2 champion. Pro 1 class is getting tight as well. Stu Baylor still sits at the top. It's been a few races since he's won and I know he's really itching to find that win here in Indiana. We've got Josh Toth coming off of a rough finish at Ohio after drowning his bike out in a river crossing. He's ready for redemption here in Indiana and he's going to want to win too. Ben Kelly also is another guy that could easily take the win. We'll see who's going to be crowned a champion here at the Mud Daubers National Enduro. Like it? Yeah, sorry about that though. Like I heard Ben, I turned on my then I'm like, I heard my bike, I'm like, oh, 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 o
Give him a free ball. Get him in the way. Kept going. You probably would have been all right. Yeah, nah, it's all good. I waited for Stu, and then I was able to actually get Stu and then wrap around and get Bollinger so I can kind of do a comparison. Yeah. So, all right. Good luck out there. Are you pinning it or what? Uh, <laughs> Dude, what about a couple of those fast straightaways, oh, yeah. huh? I thought that was you. I was like, yeah, I think that's the thing we're filming, right? Yep, exactly. I was like, oh, dude, he's getting roosted, though. Roosted I bad. Back and I was like, he was getting roosted. Roosted. And I was way, like, you were you were gaffing me pretty yeah. good, and I was still just <laughs> the whole time, like, chucking. <laughs> this but is a. The next section was so slow, like, slick. Kind of, oh. It came into there, and I was yeah. like, all over me. I was, like, sliding all over the place. Yeah. It's deceiving out there, isn't it? How well, slick we it is. Well, we go from, like, good to just iced. To mm -hmm. good to I ice, know. So it's like, you gotta, like, know where you get on. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, like I'm just like shifting up a gear. I keep being like, okay, shift up a gear. Uh -huh. Oh, this is a 350? Yeah, you're getting me a little bit. I was like, come on. It was fun. And then you jumped that road and then right next to the corn. That was crazy. Uh huh. What about you? How's your day going, dude? Yeah, I know. That's what I heard. Freaking like a couple minutes ahead or something, huh? Damn. Yeah. Must be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I gotta have time like it takes to filter out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, the bike must be feeling pretty good today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the track so far? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, you definitely do. Nice. Well, good luck, guys. What up, guys? How's it going? Slick Rick out there, huh? Yeah. It's not terrible. Uh-huh. Finding some traction, how's the yeah. bike feeling? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. What about you, Stewie? I wish you would have just wanted me to stay on that field edge. <laughs> cut cut around Come the bar. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well that was a nice little wave. Yeah. Uh-huh. People like that. Yeah, I was, was kind of over it at that point. Uh-huh. I sent it off into the game. Oh, did you? Problem had moved. Damn. I shooting toes off all day. On him last race. Uh oh. Now I end up going down in the tree. <laughs> Did it take you a while to get up and out? The long almost got me in there. But then I, it woke me up. I rode really good. That's what I've ridden yet after that. So. Mm -hmm. That was two that you went off course or one? Three. Oh, three? Yeah, I was at that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Three miles in. He was, we were in the same field at the end of the straightaway. He was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like three or four miles down. So. Yeah. All right, well, I'll see you guys out there. Good luck, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll try. I think he's shifting up and just bore. <laughs>
Enduro Engineering, Fly Racing, KTM's McKenzie Tricker topped the women's elite class after winning three of the five tests. Former Supercross and Motocross ace Brock Hepler is showing interest in the Enduro Series and rode a Husqvarna to 7th overall, which was good enough to win the NE Pro 2 class. Jesse Ansley, who won the first six NE Pro 2 races of the year, was disappointed at having his win streak broken at the Mud Daubers National Enduro. He would finish second in class, which was enough to wrap up his NE Pro 2 championship with two races remaining on the schedule. Pro Yamaha Stuart Baylor would finish third on the day at the Mud Daubers National Enduro, maintaining his points lead as he heads into the next round in Oklahoma. <laughs> FMF KTM's Ben Kelly would finish second at the Mud Dauber National Enduro by edging out points leader Stuart Baylor by only 1.6 seconds. FMF KTM's Josh Toth claimed his third win of the season in dominating fashion, topping the Mud Daubers National Enduro by a margin of nearly three and a half minutes. Toth won all six tests and never once looked in danger of losing the lead. <laughs>